Usually I have really nice things to say about the Mini Racer 3 packs. I've had really, really nice things to say about them for the last few years now, but sometimes, sometimes they just make infuriating decisions. This is the Rusties 3 pack. It includes Lightning, the new release of Dusty Rusties, and Mater. Mater, why is he here instead of Rusty? That barely even makes sense. Is it because Mater's a rusty car? I, I don't get it. And oh, you might say, oh Ty, well are they making a rusty mini? Well I'd assume at some point, but not that we know of at this time. For now, we're just stuck with Dusty. Rusty is nowhere in sight. Now I'm sure we'll get him eventually, but like, why isn't he here? I understand usually they only do one new release in the Mini Racer 3 packs, aside from the times where they've done two or three, but like, come on. This is just lazy, including Mater here, and a pack he barely fits in. Heck, I could come up with other Rusty's themed cars that make way more sense in this pack than Mater. Cruz, Sterling, even Mac. Mac would have been absolutely amazing, he's only been available in the Mini Racer blind boxes for now, but no. Instead we have Mater, and that is just really, really unfortunate. They keep putting normal Mater on the Mini Racer packs, I usually cut them slack for it because you know, Mater fits with a lot of different scenarios. Usually I think he's a pretty appropriate inclusion and I understand why he's there, you know, he's one of the main characters, he's one of the ones that kids are gonna want. Like, I didn't mind him being in that World Grand Prix 3 pack with Francesco and McQueen at all. I didn't mind him being in the tractor tipping pack. You know, usually, at least in my opinion, the cars that they choose to be with each other in the mini racer packs make perfect sense and I think the ones Mater's been included in in the past are very appropriate for him to be there. But in this case, I just, I just think it's really unfortunate. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Mini Racers Rusty's 3-pack. The strange inclusion and unfortunate inclusion of Mater really doesn't take away from how great of a Mini Dusty looks here though. He looks just like the 155 scale version of himself shrunk down. And I'm really excited to take a look at him even though I won't have Rusty to accompany him. Moving on to the back, you can see Dusty Rusty's Lightning McQueen and Mater. Yes, this is Cars 3 McQueen, which I would have said something about, but, you know, McQueen does appear in this paint job alongside Rusty and Dusty in Cars 3, so, you know, it makes perfect sense. They've definitely gotten better with including a more diverse uh, group of McQueens. Now that there's the Cars 1 McQueen Mini, he's appeared in quite a few 3-packs, all appropriately ones based around the first Cars movie. Uh, but, of course, you're still going to get your usual Cars 3 McQueen in your mini packs. Here he is, nothing too special, everyone's seen him at this point. Got the 95 under the light, lucky stickers, Rusty's logo on the hood, 95 on the side, piston cap, octane gain, RPM, revolting, and clutch aid there. Got the gas cap, Rusty's logo, Lightning McQueen signature, 95 up top, Rusty's on the spoiler. Got medicated bumper ornament written there on the back bumper with the number 95. There's a look at his other side, and there is the base. Really just nothing to say about McQueen and even less to say about Mater. I've got an absolute ton of Mini Racer Maters. He's probably one of the most difficult cars to repaint, so I have so many of him laying around. I have a few that I'm repainting, but most of these I just don't know what to do with them. Never was the biggest fan of Mater's Mini Racer. Like, I'm not really a big fan of the eye expression on him. I feel like the prototype picture looked a lot better. Um, yeah, if you take a look at the image they use on the back. I definitely prefer his expression there. This one always looked a bit off and kind of a little creepy to me. Got his one light that's still intact. Got the one roof light uh, that's out up there. Moving on to the side. Tow Mater, towing and salvage radiator springs. Unfortunately, like all the Mini Racer Maters, both of his wheels are yellow, although one of them, this one I believe, should be more blue. A113 license plate there on the back. And there is a look at his base. So here is the Mini of Dusty, and let me tell you, this guy is absolutely loaded with matte paint. Definitely got a bit of a matte paint job going on for that guy. Of course, here is his normal 155 scale counterpart, and he really just looks like a shrunken down version of him. I like the differences in the expression here. Very in-character expression for Dusty. You've got the Dodge logo there, his mustache, very nice grin. Of course, all of the appropriate dirty details all across the side. Uh, of course, we've got his wheels there, we've got the back doors, of course, we've got the handle there and all that, we've got the handles on the other side, all very, very nicely detailed. This is my original 2007 Rusty, 2007 is when he first came out, and 
Since then, I recently reviewed the 2021 Rusty, which I then repainted for Ties Cars 4. Since then, they've definitely added a lot more dirt detailing and such to him. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see a lot more dirt detailing on the Mini, probably closer to the newer Dusty releases. We've got all like these rusty stripes on him. Interesting with the wheels being a little bit different than the normal die cast. These little areas in the wheels are definitely more defined and darker than they are on his normal uh, release. And then there is a look at his base. Very interesting looking base. Very nice to have the uh, bumper there. Even the bottom of the bumper has matte paint, which is really nice. This guy is just one of the grossest feeling minis, I've got to say. I'm not really the biggest fan of the uh, of when they do matte paint on cars. Like, I get why they do. I just don't really like how it feels. And Dusty is one of the most, like, matte painted cars that I've ever reviewed, I think. But he really looks great. They really nailed that dirty look for him. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Man, I'm just really upset that Rusty wasn't in this pack and they chose Mater and said. I'm so upset that it makes me want to sing. Yeah. Sing along if you know the words. Oh, stop putting Mater in the mini racer packs. It really makes me want to give Mattel my money back. So many different characters that you could go and choose, but you keep on picking Mater and I don't know what to do. Should have included Rusty or maybe even Fred, and even Cruiser Sterling would have made more sense instead. But you keep picking Mater and it's messing with my head. Why didn't you include Rusty? Why?